My name is Tiffany Hang Moss and I'm a professor in the Department of Entomology at the University of Nebraska. And my role in the SEN USA project is to explore what are the potential pests um, associated with switchgrass and other bioenergy grasses that our research group is exploring. And we're really doing this from two different perspectives. The first is we are collecting samples um, from our switchgrass fields and other bioenergy grasses on a weekly basis for the last couple of years, trying to identify what might be potential pests um, that could be affecting the switchgrass. And we've been using both what we call a pitfall sample, which is a sample that we put into the ground. And uh, this is a sample by which we leave it out for two week intervals. And we have the opportunity to collect um, all of the insects and their relatives that are surface dwellers that we found on that ground surface. And then we also use sticky boards that we put out also for a two week period in which any flying organisms, some of the smaller ones that are more jumpers, such as the grasshoppers, leafhoppers, um, become attached to that. And that also gives us another um, set of uh, data that we can look to collectively to see what are the total populations um, that we're finding out there. And then secondly, we also want to focus in and see if there are any beneficial organisms out there, or those insects or their close relatives that we refer to as arthropods that we might want to conserve, such as important predators, pollinators, decomposers, which can all be very beneficial for that system. So again, um, this work is still preliminary, and we're collecting quite a few things, um, many things that you might typically think that you would find um, in a switchgrass field, such as grasshoppers, um, caterpillars, we're finding um, different types of thrips, um, beetles, um, aphids are a lot of the groups um, that we're seeing in that. And so our job now is to categorize them into the potential role that they might be playing in that switchgrass system. The second area that my research team focuses on is exploring natural resistance um, among the bioenergy grasses that we have. So we work with the switchgrass bioenergist breeders um, to obtain their germplasm material. And then we look to see if any of them has what we refer to as this natural resistance. And the reason why natural resistance is important is because we can exploit that in the management system. And it allows the plants to be able to resist or tolerate a specific insect feeding. And so in the end, what that means is less pesticide inputs, less management inputs that are needed on the part of the grower. And uh, at this point in time, we've looked at a variety of big blue stem and switch grasses. And um, it's very promising because we've been able to identify some that have resistance. And so all in all, this work is really going to help us um, to get a better understanding of what are some of those potential pests. And one of the key groups that we've been focusing on are aphids. And there's a number of reasons why we focus our energy on aphids. First, we've been collecting them both in Wisconsin and Nebraska. They're known pests of other grasses. Um, secondly, they have a huge reproductive potential, so they can increase their numbers in a relatively short period of time. And then probably most importantly, their association with transmitting viruses um, to grasses in that. We've also identified grasshoppers potentially um, to be defoliators of the bioenergy grasses, along with thrips and a few other um, incidental organisms in that. So um, that's a little bit about what my research group is focusing on, and ultimately this work is going to help us to develop sustainable management strategies that will benefit growers um, and help to allow um, the expansion of bioenergy grasses into the landscape systems.